Multimedia enthusiasts, listen up. I've got a real winner for you guys. And of course, I'm speaking about AV Linux version 6.0. The now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to AV Linux version 6, the now. Before I begin, I wanted to show you the website. This is where you can get all the information you would like to know about AV Linux. It's right here at your fingertips. They also have a link to their forum, news, downloads, and tutorials. Additionally, the developer went and put together a one-hour video that explains all of the different applications that come preloaded with this and let me tell you what folks if you download this you are literally getting the mother load now of interest this is a 32-bit debian based operating system and i know a lot of you out there that are running 64-bit systems are thinking to yourself well geez you know um I'm not going to be able to use all the memory and that sort of thing. Well, interestingly enough, if we open up the Synaptic Package Manager here, you will see that by doing a simple, quick search for PAE, you will see here that there are some PAE kernels available to you. And by installing these kernels, you will be able to make use of that extra memory that you have installed on your systems. So that is a nice touch that um, he has here available to you. Now, AV Linux version 6 uses the LXDE desktop. At the lower right corner of the screen, you have your shutdown dialog, the time, network configuration, volume, and four desktops to choose from. Now, AV Linux also uses Jack as a sound server and many of the applications that come preloaded with this are going to require you to use this now personally I use ALSA and I use Pulse Audio and I haven't had much time to uh, learn much about Jack but I have seen some tutorials online basically it's something separate that you uh, just start up and then the applications can begin using it. It is a low latency sound server. Eventually I'll be able to toy around with it and possibly do some tutorials on this someday. You know, it, the, the idea of it intrigues me, but I still have a ways to go on this. But this is, at least there's a quick link so that you can uh, activate that where necessary you have a quick access to your terminal editor. You also have the WBAR dock, and by powering this, you have a number of applications here. This also has Compiz support preloaded for all of you guys who really love the eye candy. You get the Ice Weasel web browser. Now, the Ice Weasel web browser, believe it or not, is actually an unbranded Firefox. And the nice thing about Ice Weasel is they actually have um, members of Debian who are actually working on this project. This is Firefox. It's just that it's completely unbranded for uh, legal reasons, if my understanding is correct there. I really like how responsive this is. Even running this in my virtual machine on a single core processor, only using 50% of uh, the processor that I have have uh, built in on my system. Okay, and then of course in our file browser here, um, this is using GNOME, if I'm not, or not I mean Nautilus, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's using Nautilus 2.3. And so I think that's really nice that he decided to include that there. And then, of course, right here is your AV Linux control panel, where you will pretty much be able to uh, customize the system to your liking. You get a number of accessories to get the most out of this system. And in audio, 
you have so many things that are included with this. There's just no way I am going to be be able to cover all of them. Uh, but the thing is, you get our door which is an excellent program for uh, audio manipulation, as well as Audacity. I use Audacity all the time. You get the Hydrogen Drum Machine, another really fun program. K3B is probably the best Linux disk writer that is available. And there are a number of other applications. Now, something I'd like to note is I've looked at a number of multimedia distributions, and I like AV Linux the best because it is well thought out. The most useful programs come pre-bundled with this. And surprisingly enough, the file size was less than 2 gigabytes to download, which I thought was really nice. Uh, in graphics, you get Darktable. You get the GNOME Photo Printer. You get the GIMP. You get Inkscape. If you have LightScribe installed in hardware, you can uh, write your own labels with LightScribe and a bunch of other tools here. In Internet, you get pretty much everything you're going to need for the most part. Uh, for FTPing your own creations up to your server, you get IceWeasel Composer for developing your own websites. You get the, the uh, SunJava Web Start Transmission for those of you who may want to distribute your content through BitTorrent. And then, of course, XChat IRC. You get the full LibreOffice suite. And then, of course, you have some additional sound card utilities that come with this as well. In system tools, for those of you who love the eye candy, Compiz is available to you. You can also, there's Deb Builder. Uh, you can get the file browser as root, remaster sys, bug reports, system profiler and benchmark, and of course, UNet Bootin. In VST plugins, you only get a uh, Festage. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, this is actually, this will actually allow you to run VST plugins for Windows. And this, of course, uses Wine as a back end. Now, I've had some luck getting uh, some VST plugins working with Festage, but not all of them. So it's pretty much going to be like running any Windows application under Wine. It's going to be hit or miss, but I have had good results with many of the plugins that are available. And then, of course, in video, you get a handful of tools. You get the latest Blender. You get AVI Demux, which is a great tool for trimming and uh, cutting clips, even uh, doing some mild transcoding with those clips. You get the Cinelara, DV Grab, DVD, a desktop recorder. You get GovC View, my favorite webcam application, Handbrake for editing, uh, for uh, transcoding, I'm sorry. And then you get Kadian Live uh, Video Editor, bar none, my personal favorite video editor. But there are also other choices. Lives comes preloaded with this. You get a movie player, open shot video editor for you video editing novices. This is an easy tool for putting those videos together. You get the VLC media player and a few other tools here. All of your system preferences are handled right here and it doesn't look, you know, I already showed you the central control area, but you also can immediately jump to uh, any of your ses settings right here. Now, interestingly enough, another nice concept was added to this. In addition to having the beautiful lightweight LXDE desktop, this also has uh, an open box menu. So when you right click on your desktop, now you have another way to uh, get information and install your system. For instance, right here, you can install AV Linux. And the developer was uh, also took the time to put together a user manual. Let's take a quick look at this and you will see it's a PDF file and it has 55 pages of data in here that you can go through that's pretty much going to give you all the information you could possibly want to know about this distribution. So if you download this and decide to use it, I highly recommend that you take the time to read this. He put a lot of work into this. This was well thought out. And out of all the multimedia distributions out there, this is really a wonderful job. And this was created 
by a musician for you musicians. And uh, it, it's going to be really nice as well to have a conversation with the developer because uh you know we're going to be able to cover some things that obviously i'm not going to be that that i haven't been able to cover here um you can also switch different desktops here as well you can set your desktop wallpaper another quick access to your av linux control panel your open box settings are here changing your themes and icons are done right here reload configuration files and then of course a quit logout shutdown rather than doing that from here i really think this is well thought out glenn you did an excellent job as always and i highly recommend that you guys visit the av linux website the links are in the show notes so you guys can download this and give it a whirl all right, if this video was not enough to whet your appetite for AV Linux, tomorrow night, Thursday, August the 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, UTC minus 5, I will be having a special Linux Zoo crew with Glenn MacArthur, the developer of AV Linux, and he will be happy to answer your questions about this distribution. Please visit linuxdistrocommunity.com for information on connecting to us on Mumble, and you can also ask your questions through IRC. We will be monitoring all of your comments, and we will be passing those questions on to the developer. This is a show you definitely do not want to miss. We will see you there. Peace out.